Mike. Oh. Well, what took you so long? And where's my money? Didn't we agree to pay you after the date? Uh, yeah, well, all right, don't go too far, okay? Are you planning to wear what you have on? Mm. I mean, has it occurred to either one of you that maybe I have an idea about what I'm doing? Okay, so you're going to come in here and accidentally bump into Gertrude, right? And then you're going to pretend not to remember her name. Ooh. Why would I do that? Romance, Mike. You say you could never forget her face. Oh, uh, I, I know what women like to hear, all right? Oh, I just know my Aunt Gertrude. Oh, and whatever you do, please, do not mention turbans. Turbans? Well, why would I? Her last boyfriend was obsessed with turbans. I have never mentioned a turban in my life. <laughs> well, there, maybe there was once, but that was, that was long after I picked the gal up. Gal? Picked up. Oh. Will you relax? Okay, you know, here, take my cell phone. Why, why do I need a cell phone? In case of emergencies. Yeah, we'll be right over here. Uh, do you want me to call you? I'm on the speed dial. Star two. Uh, all right, if it makes you feel better. And whatever you do, do not forget what Gertrude loves the most. My natural wit and charm. Money. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, did you uh, manage to dump the Fed? For now. Don't say anything illegal. I never do. Hey, I'm just really glad you're here. So what don't we miss? A little pep talk, not much. D minus four, three, two, one. Forget her name. Forget her name. Forget her name. Gertrude? Well, you remembered. He said her name. What, do you guys read lips now? Why can't I say her name? It's a disaster. A regal name for a regal lady. <laughs> You're such a way with words. You know, Shakespeare named one of his most astonishing characters, Gertrude. But I'm sure you knew that. Mr. Corbin, you're very well read. Mike, please. Mike? She took his hand. That is much too forward. You think so? Oh, she suspects something. Why is he looking at his watch? What's he thinking? What are we paying this guy to act bored? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I think he has a plan. Look, the, the, the entire housing development will not fall apart. I mean, we're, we're just talking about one meeting here. Uh, yeah, well, we, we, we could look at tomorrow. We could, we could reschedule. All right, uh, fine, fine. Listen, why, um, why don't you have your secretary call my people and, uh, and we will definitely shoot for tomorrow? Okay. What? Oh, oh, the ponies are doing just fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm. Oh, priorities, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> the old fake phone call trick. Pretend to cancel a very important meeting. Damn, it's so sneaky, but effective. Since when does Mike have a cell phone? I gave him mine. Isn't my wife wonderful? Mm. Oh. No, no, no. He's offering the phone to Gertrude. <gasps> Do you have your name on the phone? No, but if you press a star one, it's Jax. Star two, it's me. If there's anyone you need to call? Oh, no, no, I'm fine, thank you. Well, surely a woman like you is not dining alone. Oh, well, my companion was unfortunately detained. Well, keeping a woman like you waiting, that is shameful. Well... <laughs> Uh, my table is ready if you'd like to join me. That would be my pleasure. Yeah. We're brilliant. She's buying it. Who knew the guy had so much charm? <laughs> Slam dunk. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I was just wondering if you sell gift certificates here. Certainly. Uh, would you like one? Yes, I would. See, a gentleman friend of mine, he loves this place, and, well, it's almost Christmas, you know? Well, I'll make the arrangements. Oh, thank you. To new beginnings. Mm.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've got trouble. Tammy from Kelly's? She looks a little upset. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Now you tell us? I'm, uh, excuse me, I, I, I thought I saw one of my old polo buddies over there. Oh, really? Where? Yeah, well, you know, it's amazing. You, you have me seeing things already. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Cook, mine. <laughs> Here is the gift certificate you requested. Thank you. Probably more than that jerk deserves. Here you go. Thank you. <sighs> Tammy. I'm a little busy here right now. I don't now. think I've ever seen you outside of Kelly's before. Oh, well then, tonight's your lucky night. Excuse me. Uh, I, I, I hate to interrupt, but uh, Mike is in the middle of a very important business meeting. No kidding. Yeah, and we're working on a, on a deal together, so now is probably not the best time. No, you see, I like now. Now is a very good time. It's serious money. That's what Mike said. Serious money. So let me ask you something. If you two are in this deal together, how come he isn't sitting with you? Trust me. Yeah. I've heard that one before. Excuse me. Red alert. Tag team. When Jax gets back, I'm going to the ladies' room, then I'll listen in. I'll report back. If he needs anything, I got Good. Uh, Jax, uh, Jax, excuse me, Gertrude. Um, Jax, listen, I, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there, is there anything that I should know about that, um, that blonde woman? Uh, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Gertrude? Hmm. Oh, now don't keep your wife waiting. Oh, I never do that. If you would rather spend the evening I'm with just... that. I'm worried about Jax. Well, why would you say that? Oh, did you, you, you picked up on something, too, didn't you? About Mr. Jax? What do you mean? <sighs> well, I, I really shouldn't discuss this with a lady. Oh, now, Mr. Corbin, Mike, do go on. It's, it's just that Jax has an eye for... For the ladies? So to speak. I mean, no disrespect to the blonde. Oh, I know just what you mean. See, I, I just wanted, I wanted Jax to know that I noticed. Uh, you see, his wife is a very dear friend of mine. Mm. You know, speaking of blondes, I think Jax has more than a friendly interest in my niece Chloe, if you get what I mean. Well, I would keep a very close eye on your niece. Oh, I'm doing my best. Jasper Jax is a well-known Lothario. And he could easily destroy your niece's marriage. That's it. The date is over. What happened? Mike is telling Gertrude that Jax has an eye for Chloe. Have we been that obvious? Stomach uh, losses. Right. I couldn't believe that St. Louis needed another apartment complex, so I said, what the heck? The deal landed in my lap. Well, some things are meant to be. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Uh, oh, don't you people ever sit down? I apologize. That uh, crazy limited partner in Nashville just paged me. Oh, oh, he's acting up again. I'm afraid so, and uh, you're the only one he'll listen to. Ah, oh, Gertrude, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, but... Uh, oh, oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Go, it's fine. No, money, duty, calls. Till next time. Next time. Mm. Let's pay as you go. Just lay off my wife and Jack's all right. This conversation, you should try it sometime, Dad. Gosh, <sighs> knows. She's known all along. She's totally on all of us. This is casted on paranoia, little past story. Honey, just take a few deep breaths. Mary? Gertrude off was the worst idea that I have ever come up with. We're going to have to think of something else. We have to cut our losses right now. No, no, no. Absolutely not. We are going to stop Gertrude. One way or another. <laughs>